We've come through so much. Overnight, the world stopped. We were afraid. We were isolated. We needed music more than ever. We found a way to safely unite our voices. This year taught us that with a little faith, hope, and ingenuity, the possibilities of music are endless. I'm so proud of all that we accomplished. The future is ours. Hello, I'm Christopher Lowry, founder and artistic director of the exciting new chamber choir, Ensemble Altera. Despite the anxiety, separation, and loss of the last year, Altera has been a light in the darkness for many. Over the course of three major recording projects and four live streaming concerts, We've poured our collective hearts into finding space to fight back against the pandemic with music. Music that heals us, enriches us, and unites us. All of this work was made possible, I must say, by the astonishing generosity of our supporters. And now, to memorialize and reflect on the tumultuous nature of the past year, we're coming together again this summer to produce a hugely ambitious digital and in-person concert called We Remember. This music speaks of those who are no longer with us, those essential workers who have kept us strong, those communities that have been disproportionately affected. It's a way for all of us who have grieved, suffered, and been kept apart to join together in a spirit of renewal. The road to recovery is a long one, but I believe it starts by lifting our voices in song. I've curated a program of musical selections spanning the Baroque to songs being written as we speak. This is music of sophistication, but directness that I know will lift us up. Some of the finest singers in the country will gather together in Providence this July to rehearse and record a digital concert. And if everything goes to plan, give a live in-person performance. Even with the expansive range of work we've undertaken in these trying and constraining times, we're still a fledgling nonprofit arts organization. We don't have access to major corporate donors or huge government grants. To fund our work, we depend on donations from you, our loyal audience. Today, we're asking you to make a generous gift to help us achieve our goals. You're helping us develop an essential culture of arts philanthropy for choral music here in Rhode Island and all around the world. We hope that if you've been a supporter of ours in the past, you'll consider giving again to this next step in our evolution. And if this is your first time or you've never given to an arts group before, you'll consider joining in our mission as we mature into a robust arts organization you can turn to for rejoicing and solace. We're sending some amazing gifts to anyone able to support us at a certain level. So to learn more about what you can receive in return for your generosity, be sure to click the link below. Now, more than ever, we need the beautiful, the extraordinary, the transcendent to help restore our minds, bodies, and spirits. At its best, Music speaks to us in personal and universal ways, across boundaries and borders. We have so much more to say, and we hope you'll join us on the journey. Thank you.